Is that how you start burping? The top 10 things to do or know or be to be a comedian in Los Angeles. No, number one, number one, be nice to people. All right. You, you know, you know, we, we all got emotional problems, you know, and you can't take it out on the other people that got emotional problems. Okay. Just be nice to people, be chill. They're gonna remember that because nobody is gonna laugh if they think you're an asshole. <sighs> be consistent. You have to show up and be there and ugh, wait it out. Ugh. So annoying, but you gotta do it, cause we did it. Go in, sign up, and just suffer, suffer. Number three, this is the worst part of it all. God, you gotta watch yourself, ugh, sucks. Yeah, chances are, is that if you're making yourself barely wanna watch yourself, then nobody else wants to watch you either. Number four, wash yourself. Yes, very underrated. But if you smell, and I was like making my nose throw up, you gotta be really funny to smell bad. You know, there's like a balance there. Number five, Number six, introduce yourself. You know, tell people where you're from, what, you know, what life experiences got you to this point where you just wanna like, you know, come to LA and be like, oh, it's jokes. Number seven of what? There's some good websites, you know? Um, Google, Google where there's like good shows and they're close to you so you can like, you know, be comfortable when you're there. You don't wanna drive across town through traffic and you show up and you, you, you already have so much invested in that night and you gotta like, oh, now the jokes, the laughs need to like be grandiose because I, drove down there and I spent money on gas. I'm hungry and I have to just go somewhere like down the street where you like, you know, you already ate your and now you're like, you're just gonna go do the show, like low investment. That's what I suggest for number seven. Number eight. Don't be like a rotten person, you know? Like, don't be somebody that should be possibly prosecuted for the things you say, you know, like, don't be like that. It's just barely, like, it barely makes yourself laugh. It's not gonna work, you know, just like back off from that, you know. Number nine, we're getting close to that gift I promised you at the end, okay? Pack a punch, punchline, pack, your punchline, bring it with you. Bring punchlines with you. Number 10, watch and learn. You see someone that has success going on and you know, people are paying to watch them and they're laughing, you know, it's like that packed room on a Saturday night. Don't pay so much attention to the jokes or what they're saying. Pay attention to the distances in time before you hear big laughters. Here's your free, free gift. Ryan Talmo. Yes, look him up. If you're in LA, look up the name Ryan Talmo, the Talmanator, the Valley Jesus. This guy puts on shows all the time. He's so nice. He gives you your spot. He'll give you stage time. You don't even have to pay him. So uh, find him. He always posts, does shows like every single day of his life. He hosts, I don't know. This guy's like dynamite.
for new comedians. So look him up. He'll put you on the show. Tell him I sent you. And he might even... It won't make a difference, but you can do it. Okay? <laughs>